Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Labour are being a little bit disingenuous and hypocritical. On one hand, they have said that the Scottish government is failing in every important aspect, and they have released figures today showing how the NHS is 1.4 billion in the hole due to underfunding and monies that were promised to it not being delivered. The, the individual health boards are spending as though that money has been there uh, and been given to them, and yet it has not. And the Scottish government have no way of repaying the monies promised to them. They've been told they've got it, they've spent it, and then it hasn't turned up. And Labour are quite right in highlighting this. Dame Jackie Bailey has said this is what happens after 17 years of consistent and constant underfunding and having below inflation rises given to the NHS. And of course, she's quite right. And she's gone on to say that the whole of the SNP government is not fit for purpose and that many of its policies have been proven to be completely disastrous. And again, she's right. However, despite all this, despite her calling out all these policies being so bad, you have to ask why, if they're as bad as Labour are saying, Labour have voted for so many of them. Labour have backed many of the most disastrous policies that the SNP have put in place. Is it anything to do with the fact that many of the ideas will have come down from the guys in the mosque? Who knows? But just this year alone, Labour have actually opposed only about 20% of policies proposed by the SNP. Surely an opposition's job is to oppose. Seems odd that they're not. Perhaps there is some kind of connection between the leader of the SNP and the leader of Labour. I don't know what it is. Perhaps you do. Perhaps there is some kind of cahoots going on. Perhaps there's a below-the-table agreement. Backroom boys passing envelopes filled with £50 notes. Who knows? But until there is a credible opposition, there'll be no opposition. And that just makes it a dictatorship. Even if Labour win the next election, I suspect very little will change. Thanks for listening. Bye.